This video will show you how to access Evolve Elsevier's HESI exam resources for Allied Health's HPA2 admission assessment exam. Log into your web browser and go to evolveelsevier.com, then go to the right hand side of the screen under login and either create an account or login. Make sure that when you create your password, it's at least seven characters long and does not contain special characters like a percentage or an exclamation point. Evolve gives you your username, which is a permanent username. You're allowed to change your password at any time. Navigation is fairly simple. Once you log in, you basically have three different categories. Along the top, you have My Evolve Catalog and Help. To go to Resources, you're going to select Catalog. Once you select Catalog, it'll bring you to a search field, and you can type in either the author, the title of the book, if you know it, or a keyword or phrase. In this case, we're going to select HESI Admission Assessment, and then we're going to select Go. And all the resources we're going to be showing you are free resources that are companions to the textbooks that Evolve provides. So here we're going to go with the latest textbook, which is the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the fourth edition, 2017. We're going to select Register. Then we're going to select Redeem and Checkout. Again, you can see that it's free. And then you can either fill in your institution information, or you can just check that box and hit Continue. Next, you're going to select the Agreement box and then Submit. Then go to the top of the page and select My Evolve, and you should find your resource in your My Evolve section. Go ahead and select the resource link, and then you'll notice on the left-hand side there's some navigation. And you always want to select before you begin to make sure that your web browser is updated and your computer is updated with the latest plugins and software settings so that you'll be able to view the resources correctly. Under Course Content, select the Comprehensive Practice Exam. And once you do that, you'll notice that another page or window will open up. Left click on the exam page and then it opens up to another window where you can configure your own method of study. There are three steps to follow. Very simply, either select Exam 1 or 2, select the mode of the exam, either Study or Exam Mode, and then next, select those exams that are specific to your area. Once you select your topic, you can start your exam by selecting Begin, and you'll notice you'll have either a fill-in-the-blank or a multiple choice. Uh, continue on until you're done with that section and go to the next. We are now going to delve into the specific topic areas of the HPA2 exam. This topic may pertain to your specific exam, Anatomy and Physiology. You'll notice there'll be no resources or specific resources for vocabulary, reading comprehension, or grammar. You can use the previous resource, the HESI Admission Assessment Book resource, for those topic areas. We're going to now look at the first recommended anatomy and physiology resource, which is Pathology for the Health Professions. It's the fifth edition, 2017, by Ivan Damjanov. And I'm going to type that in the search field and look for Mr. Damjanov's online resource for 2017. And if I click on it right now, you'll notice that it's not going to be available till October. Um, so I'm going to go back and get the fourth edition and register for that edition, which is free. Remember that you may have to go back to a previous edition to either get a free resource if it's not available or if you don't want to pay. Again, all these online resources are companions to the textbook that Evolve provides for that specific area. We're going to go through the same registration process that we did for the previous resource. And now we're going to go into the Pathology for Health Professions. And you'll see that there are chapters along the left-hand side or navigation that correspond with the textbook. And you can click on, we'll click on Chapter 1, look under the Student Resources. It opens up more resources, and I'll click on the class or clinical or lab preparation. And every resource that Evolve provides has a little different spin to it. Um, this one has a body spectrum um, glossary contents. You can select a quiz mode or study mode. 
and we look at different categories of the of the body, the muscles, subcategories of the of the body as well. And so uh, you can really drill down for these exams and, and get real specific. Some sections also have animation, so you want to make sure you have some earbuds or headphones handy so you can listen and follow along with the animations and voiceover. And many times you'll find that there will be PowerPoint slides that correspond to the specific chapter. You'll be able to pull those up and print them out and take notes if you'd like. You can also navigate to any other PowerPoint section as well, any other chapters you need to along the side navigation pane. You may find that at the end of the online resource or end of the chapters, you'll have a comprehensive exam as well. So we're on to our next anatomy and physiology resource, and that's going to be Health Careers Today, the sixth edition by Judith Gurdon. And I'm going to type in Health Careers Today. And she has a 2017 edition out, and it is available and free. And jumping ahead to our final anatomy and physiology resource is Kinesiology, the third edition by Joseph E. Muscolino. When you're doing a search for a resource in the catalog section, you may have to put the author's name as well as the edition and the title to find that specific resource. We are providing all three for you in this video. You'll notice that the navigation is the same from resource to resource. It's always on the left hand side. You'll see the course content, but it may vary a little bit with animations, exams, PowerPoint slides. Everyone is a little bit unique. And the next resource we're going to have is for math. And the first resource sounds a little bit like a child's nursery rhyme. It's the Nurse, the Math, and the Meds, the third edition by Joyce Mulholland and Susan Turner. You go through the same registration process that you did for the other course material. And it should be in your MyEvol account once you register for that resource. And here we have it. Again, the navigation is going to be along the left-hand side. The course content is going to be on the left-hand side. And you'll see the, the individual chapters that you can delve into and work on your specific area. This seems to be a very good review as well for, for nursing students. So uh, it's geared, again, towards, towards the health field dosage and calculation. And this particular online resource also has a comprehensive final after the last chapter, so you can review your materials, see how well you did. And our second and final math reference or resource will be Calculate with Confidence, the sixth edition by Deborah C. Gray Morris. So again, you're going to type that in the search field under the catalog and then the resource should pull up on the search page results and you can register. Again it will be in your My Evolve section once you are done going through the registration process. If one of the topics is chemistry that will be on your exam then you'll want to include the pathology for the health professions which we just covered previously. And add the new resource, Pathophysiology for the Health Professional. And that is going to be by Karen Van Meter and Robert Hubert. And that is 2015, fifth edition. And finally, biology. If this content area is specific to your exam, we've already reviewed the pathology for the health profession. So utilize that resource. That covers our content area for the HPA2 exam. And online resources. Remember, you can pick up the companions for those resources, the textbooks that go along with the online resources to uh, coordinate your studying. Remember that there may be a later edition that you'll have access to or uh, new editions that are constantly coming out. So keep your eye on that. You'll have the titles, the authors, um, 
and the addition for you in the upcoming slides as a review. Best of luck to you and happy studying.